We have. If you if you record video like this, this is boring. But if you put video like that way, it's much professional. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you can use a notebook, whatever you have a notebook screen, they show there. And also you can make a mouse control to make a... Yeah, it's recording now. And then you can make a bigger, smaller. So every background you can change to make a, a different feeling. Sometimes you can make a full screen, so you are, you are pointer, they draw something, so every people understand. And then when you talk, you can bring the teacher. And when your teacher wants to show himself bigger, you can go here. And if you want to have a slightly different location, you can move this one to some area in real time. So everything is straightforward. If you need uh, this monitor slightly bigger, to go to here, monitor select, and then you can make it slightly bigger and smaller. You can put this one, and also you can rotate. As a school, we already have lots of good cameras. Can I use my yeah. existing cameras? Yeah, yeah, you can use SDI or HDMI, good camera. Of course, that's much better. <laughs> then you have to have a hardware machine, which is 5,000 pounds only. And then you put two cameras, one camera for students. You can bring students there teacher here, students there, you just select the HDMI 1 for students and then the, this one desktop from the screen, this is the notebook from there, so any video or PowerPoint you can bring there too. That way everything is so flexibly you can manage while you are teaching. So you don't have to make a connection one to project another to projector, you just make a switching here so everything go to projector screen. So this projector screen immediately going to uh, output and also recording same time you do Skype same time you do YouTube live so all multi-threading is working inside so everything we are designing real time once you have a video like a 30 minute lecture editing is a really hard work but this one do everything in real time